Next up, I'm going to introduce six very similar elements. They are all heading or section heading elements. They are the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, and H6 elements. So they all indicate headings. Uh, if we go to this Wikipedia article, we have a bunch of examples actually of these H elements. We've got our main heading here, which would be an H1. This is the top level heading for the entire page. But then we have subheadings like terminology, general biology and habitat. Those would be the next level down. Think of an outline of your document. This is the main topic and then two subtopics. And then within one of those, so if this is an H2, we could have an H3. And then we've got a couple of H3s. Behavior, is there another one down here? Hatching and, or no, embryology, there we go. And then within one of those sections, we can have an H4. And we could keep going. So do not use these for the size of the text that they generate. They have a default size. So an H1 by default is a little bit larger than normal. Um, an H2 is slightly smaller. An H3 is slightly smaller than that. But we can change all of that after the fact using CSS. I could make an, H, uh, an H1 really tiny and an H6 very large. It's not a great idea, but I could. So that is not why we use them. And in fact, there's a very important method or an important structure that we need to follow. We should always only have one H1 at most on a page, and it should always be the top level main heading. So let's do that. I've got chicken right here. Whatever you want the heading of your page to be, we'll wrap it in an H1. So we've got the opening and the closing. And you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, it's going to be larger, but it also takes up its own line, just like a paragraph does. It's a heading. It stands on its own. So if I have some other text after it, save and refresh, it's pushed onto its own line. Okay, so it is made larger, but again, that's not really the point. We can change the font, we can change the size, the color, all of that later on. So we should have one H1 at most. You should not have two topics that are the top level thing of your page, the top section heading. You just have one. And then we could have subtopics or subheadings. So for example, uh, let's just copy this. Terminology and general biology and habitat. So I'm just going to make a couple of H2s here. We've got our little intro here, and then I'll do an H2. And I'm going to use a shortcut, H2 tab. And then I'll paste in terminology, and then H2 tab again. And this time what I was going to do general biology and habitat. Sure. Let's take a look. Okay, so they're smaller. And um, why don't I add maybe a paragraph of text inside of that. I'm not going to copy all of this. I'm going to use just some dummy text. Inside of VS Code, there's a shortcut called lorem, where I can type lorem and hit tab. And it just makes me some lorem ipsum placeholder text. So if I refresh, there we go. I've got a paragraph. Let's maybe make it a little larger. I'll do it again, lorem. I think I can even do something like lorem times, how about five and hit tab. I don't know if you could see that there. I'll do one more example down below this H2. Let's do another paragraph. So P, tab. You don't have to do it that way. You could also just type out P with your brackets. And then inside, I'm going to type lorem. But this time, I'm going to multiply it by, how about, three. And then I'll hit tab. And this will make me three times lorem ipsum placeholder text. So just placeholder. Nothing important. <laughs> now it's trying to translate from Latin. No, thank you, Chrome. And now I've got a couple of sections of content, if you will. And let's put an H3 in there. So under general biology and habitat, I'll do behavior. So that will be an H3, just like that. And then I could have different sections for behavior. So social behavior, and that could be an H4. And these are all meaningful, right? If something is an H4, that indicates that it's a level below an H3. If something is an H1, it's the top thing on the page. It's the main subject or the main heading. If something is an H2, it's a subsection. So keep that in mind. You should never have an H3 without an H2 and an H1. You should never have an H6 without an H5 and a 4 and a 3 and a 2 and a 1. They mean something. So the sizes, you can control and change independently, but that number has some meaning associated with it. So if I wanted to have another heading below behavior, got behavior, social behavior, and then broodiness. Oh, I've been dealing with some broodiness in my hands for the first time. Let me tell you, it's not very fun. It's when they uh, insist upon 
raising one of their eggs and laying on it and not laying new eggs and they get very angry when their egg doesn't hatch and they won't move and eat it's, it's a little honestly it's kind of messed up that uh we've bred chickens to just not raise their young and just keep laying eggs but anyway getting off topic here so those should both be h4s if they are on the same level if that makes sense they are they'd be like two bullet points next to each other if this was an outline of the page so we also have an h5 i am h5 i'll just cheat here and just type that and an h6 i am h6 and you'll see that yeah they are smaller but again not the point these headings exist to uh, add structure to the page and to indicate the main topic subtopics and on a wikipedia article that's pretty straightforward right we know that it's broken up into sections and there's main topics and all of that but if we look at something like this article on mdn this would be an h1 right here and then this probably is an h2 so is that so is this and then i would assume this is an h3 so is this here these are subsection headings for this h2 section and that is part of the larger main topic of the page which we would indicate with an h1 so those headings are important we use them all the time don't use them for size remember that and make sure that you are using them correctly so one h1 at most on a page only have an h2 if you already have an h1 and so on with all the others only have a three if you have a two and a one etc okay so that's headings